Hi, and welcome once again to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And we've got a story about good old J.K. Rowling. God bless you, mom. She has been um, writing about India Willoughby. India Willoughby is a man who likes to pretend that he's a woman. Uh, and he dresses as a woman. He puts the makeup on. And, you know, from a distance, actually, is passable as a woman. It's only when you get up close and you see the manly hands, the Adam's apple and the big butch walk that you realise that this is actually a bloke in a frock. But uh, J.K. Rowling has deliberately called him a man and he doesn't like it. Uh, and he's saying that uh, the term man, and she, this is J.K. Rowling, he's saying that the term man isn't a slur, it isn't an insult, you should take it as quite a compliment. Because, you know, being there's nothing wrong with being a man is the argument that they're having. Uh, but Willoughby doesn't like it. Uh, well, I don't care what Willoughby likes. I wouldn't, for example, be forced to lie and say that something is that which it clearly is not. And once again, J.K. Rowling standing up for women and God bless her. Let's have a look, see what's said, see who did what to whom. It's lovely. Here goes. So J.K. Rowling says India Willoughby is a man as Harry Potter author ramps up gender criticism. Well, of course, uh, J.K. Rowling is entitled to say that India Willoughby is a man because India Willoughby is a man. X, you know, uh, XY jeans, uh, fully penised, you know, um, born male, guy male. In a thousand years when they dig up the bones and go, oh, here's a man and so forth. It's male and there's nothing wrong with being a man. Anyway, the Edinburgh based writer has waded back into the transgender debate in recent weeks as she told her me social media followers that man is not a slur. JK Rowling has branded trans campaigner India Willoughby, or as you see from the, uh, from the thumb name, still a boy, as a man. As she wrapped up her attacks on gender activism, the Harry Potter author has waded back into the debate in the last few weeks and she's highlighted the dangers of women of letting biological males into female only spaces. Now, there is um, another thing, that has, an aside on this, is that very recently there was a thing about uh, men who pretend to be women wanting to breastfeed, or as they call it, chest feed. And what they can do is pump loads and loads of chemicals and whatever and pharmaceuticals into their body to produce a tiny amount of milk. Uh, and then they can put a baby on there to, to suck this milk and then say, oh, it's just as healthy. No, it really isn't, is it? It's not just as healthy. You are forcing tons of chemicals into it and it is not just as healthy. It is unnatural. And what's even un more unnatural, and it's actually worse, what it is is these men who want to pretend to be women who get a sexual thrill out of being a woman are now using babies and putting their their, their nipples in the baby's mouths to fulfill a sexual pleasure. And that's what you've got to look like, uh, got, got to look at when you see this. A man who wants to put his nipple into a baby's mouth. Look at it like that and then tell me that that is in any way natural. Anyway, get back to rolling. Uh, she has clashed with Willoughby, who was the UK's first transgender newsreader and has branded the Edinburgh based writer 58 a turf trans exclusionary trans exclusionary radical feminist in the past. Rowling was responding to a now deleted tweet from Willoughby 58 in which he indicated he wanted to kidnap the SNP MP and gender activist Joanna Cherry. So deleted the thing but it's still there. This man, dangerous man, wants to kidnap a real woman. Weird isn't it? And hasn't been arrested for it. I think definitely needs to be arrested and questioned. If you're going to be doing that, if you're if you're a man who wants to kidnap a woman and has said so publicly, that is a very dangerous statement to make. Anyway, Rowling said, for reference, this is the individual whose precious feelings are far more important than truth, according to some of his fellow men. If you think women calling this person a man is more offensive than him publicly fantasising about kidnapping women, I can't help you. She had said earlier that India didn't become a woman. India is cosplaying a misogynistic male fantasy of what a woman is. If I went out tomorrow and put on black, if I not even go out, if I sat on here, on this channel, 
and put on a wig and blackface and starting, you know, black and white minstrels, handshakes, jazz hands and shit. I would be off YouTube in seconds. My my career as a YouTuber would be history. I'd be gone. I'd be cancelled for putting on blackface. Why is it any different for woman face? Anyway, uh, as she stand, continued to stand up to critics who accused her of misgendering Willoughby, not at all, got, the, got it right, saying accurately sexing trans-identified men who send misogynistic abuse to women is not discrimination. Man is not a slur. I know a lot of you think that the UN should intervene whenever women bruise your egos, but there is no human right to universal validation. Rowling, uh, Rowling was speaking after criticising the idea of biological men being able to access female changing areas. And again, sorry, tangent time again, there's a football um, league, is the word I'm looking for, not, not a side, a football league, and it's a ladies league. And uh, they have been told by the FA, well, I think it's the SFA, I think it's the Scottish League, isn't it? Uh, and they've been told that they are going to close the league down. The absolute, the total league, not just the team. The entire league down. Because the women in that league refused to admit a male player to a female football team. And what they were saying is, there are other teams available. You can go and join mixed teams. There are mixed teams when men and women play together. This is a women's team. And it's more than just the sex of the women. It's the women as a female experience. And that man may pretend to be a woman, but he's still a man and he does not have the female experience. Anyway, the whole league is saying this. They're not doing it. And the, and the, and the, the Football Association are threatening to cut down and shut down an entire league because they will not let a man play on a woman's side. Screw the safety of the women, of course. It's far more important, rather than the physical well-being of women, that the precious hurty fee-fees of an inadequate man who gets a sexual thrill dressing in a, as a woman is far more important. I think the Football Association is now not fit for purpose and that needs to be closed down. They need to organise another f football conference or something away from the FA and organise their own separate league. That would be the easiest thing, wouldn't it? Anyway, Rowling was speaking after criticising the idea of biological men being able to access female changing areas. She said almost nine in ten sexual crimes in changing rooms took place where there is a unisex policy in place. Adding, it is too seldom noted that every single man arguing for removal of single sex spaces is arguing for his own right to enter those spaces to gain access to women and girls. And as we know, 75% of trans in prisons are sexual offenders. Only 6% of gen pop. Trans, 12 times more likely to be sexual offenders. She said, I know from experience that they feign outrage when this point is put to them, gibbering that they're just being good, virtuous, progressives who are standing up for trans women, when, that they personally won't be availing themselves of the new opportunities afforded them. The fact remains that instead of calling out male violence against trans women and working to make male safe spaces safer, these men have thrown their energy into the fight to remove women's and girls' rights to safety, privacy and dignity. I absolutely agree with JK Rowling because I'm not an inadequate little man. I'm a gr full grown heterosexual, not alpha male, but I'm fairly alpha-ish, ex-forces, father, protector of wife and child. I have family, I have female friends, female relatives, mother, sister, nieces. I wouldn't want any of them put into a position like that. And if any man tried to go in where they were, I would certainly have a word and by have a word I mean stop him regardless of how much makeup he's wearing and whether he called himself Susan or not. Anyway if anyone genuinely believes that none of these enthusiastic, he enthusiastic heterosexual non-trans identified male allies are personally enthralled by the idea of women and girls losing basic protections I have several bridges to sell you. Oh there's Willoughby there he is strange man uh, pretends to be a woman, puts on makeup. Oh, look at my long hair. Look at me. Look at the way I delicately hold my head face forward like that. Dropping the chin. Just so you can't see the big fat Adam's apple. Anyway, 
Still a boy responded to Rowling's criticism saying, genuinely disgusted by this grotesque transphobia. No, what's grotesque is a man who gets a sexual thrill by putting on women's underwear and pretending to prance around like a woman. That's grotesque. She says, oh, sorry, he says, I'm every bit as much a woman as J.K. Rowling. Get your tits out, love. Let me judge. Let's have a look at your spammy, eh? Let's see that. Let's do a quick blood test. Let's do a quick DNA test. Let's see how much of a woman you truly are. No, I don't think you are. She said, recognised in law and by everyone I react with every day. She said, the debate about whether J.K. Rowling is a transphobe is over. No, no, no. I'm not scared of you. Not phobe. Not fear. It's calling it out as it is. You are the one who's filled with hate. You hate women. You, India Willoughby, are a misogynist. You hate the idea of women having a single sex space. That offends you. You're offended by women's rights. JK Rowling is right. Willoughby is still a boy. Coming up. The thing about JK Rowling is she's not wrong. It doesn't matter what these men think. It doesn't matter what clothes they put on or what names they want to call themselves. They are still men. Now, they want to identify as a woman. That's up to them. They can identify as what they like. But they cannot force delusion, their delusion onto others. It's wrong. If I see it and it's a man, it's a man. And if they want to take me to court and say it's hate speech, it's not hate speech. It's accuracy. And I will go into court and I will say, I've just sworn on this court that I will tell the truth, the whole truth, and anything but the truth. That is a man. That is the truth. And if you want me to lie under oath, I will say it's a woman, but then I don't want to be done for perjury. And anyone who calls that man a woman in the court, it's perjury. And then where do they go? I've also got the 2010 Equality Act on my side, which you must remember, which gives you the right to your philosophical belief. It's a wonderful act. Read it, learn it and stick with it because it screws with their tiny minds. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment. Please share the video and I will speak to you later. Bye.